Hello there, in today's video we are going to be talking about a new product from Profi CNC. If you don't know who Profi CNC are, they are the company headed by Philip Rouse who created the Pixhawk 2.1 or what is now known as the Cube. Now I have done a few videos on this but I haven't done as many as I wish I had actually and it's something I need to get my bum into gear about. Um, the Pixel 2.1 is, in my opinion, the best Pixel there is out there. There are hundreds of clones out there if you're looking for a Pixel. There are some cheap ones. But if your aircraft is of any value or you are hanging anything of value under it, go for the 2.1 because it will give you the best possible performance and reliability as well. Especially if you pair it with the here GPS. That thing is ridiculously sensitive. I've literally had it under a table covered in foil in my garage and it would still pick up a GPS signal. Anyway, the new product that the guys at Profi CNC have announced is something called HearLink. HearLink is a wireless HD transmission system and remote controller. Now, you might think that sounds a bit like Lightbridge. Well, basically it is similar, but is it is an entirely new system from the guys at Profi CNC. Now it comes as two parts. You will have an ear end transmitter and you will have a ground based receiver. The ground based receiver is a remote controller with built in LCD screen, similar in design to what we've seen from Unique and what they did on the H. Now the screen itself on this thing is a 5.5 inch LCD touchscreen with 16 million colors and it is going to be running Android. That means you're going to be able to put all your usual applications on it and it comes out the box, I believe, with a custom version of Solex already installed and you will also hopefully be able to install things like Tower and other Android applications as well. Um, it has built-in speaker, two built-in microphones, uh, two rocker switches, one control wheel, uh, six bottom keys, a top key on the right, and it uses the usual connection protocols that we would come to expect. So it has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, as well as built-in GPS for positioning. The transmission system this device is going to use is on 2.4 gigahertz, and I will come on to that a little bit more in a minute. Um, the overall specifications then come down to a 5 amp uh, LiPo battery. I'm not sure what the runtime will be yet. They haven't actually announced that, but that is substantially bigger than we get on most tablets. Uh, and it supports micro USB charging. An interesting thing about this device as well of is the amount of horsepower that they've put into it. When you look over the specifications, there is quite a lot of horsepower in this device to say the least. So it's going to give some interesting possibilities. Um, flipping over to the healing system on the ear side, you're going to have a small box, probably not dissimilar to what you've got on the OcuSync system, which I've got on there at the moment, that will have dual HDMI inputs. So it means that you can connect your digital camera straight into it. There is no analog input so any guys who want to use analog sorry you're going to have to move up to the 21st century and get into digital but you are going to have dual inputs hopefully that actually might mean picture in picture power wise it will run between 5 and 12 volts and it will also have a uart in as well which means mavlink you will be able to connect mavlink straight into it and get, get all your telemetry and everything straight onto the screen the e module also has two 3.3 level rc outputs for s plus and all of the usual ones as well and it has a single button on the side for pairing one interesting observation again on this side of it is the e module also has quite a substantial amount of horsepower on board as well and it's going to be very very interesting to see what you can use that for because obviously on the remote controller side you're running the android apps and everything however on the a side you're not so it's going to be interesting to see what applications and what you'll be able to do with that i'm not going to go as far as to say it is a companion computer at this time because i don't know myself if i'm fully honest however it appears that there is a lot of horsepower there that might be available to use for other uses. Operating frequency, as I said, on the whole system is 2.4 gigahertz and it allows up to 720p 30 frames a second transmission or 1080p 30 frames or 60 frames a second. Okay, moving on to the wireless transmission system. Well, it's going to use something called LTE over Wi-Fi. And that means they are taking the 4G LTE protocol that is generally used in cellular mobile phones and transmitting that on 2.4 gigahertz. Now, when you use 2.4 gigahertz and Wi-Fi, 
you have to follow a certain specification. But the, because they're doing this this way, they're taking that more efficient and better LTE protocol and just using it on the 2.4 gigahertz transmission. Now, the benefits to this are they can get more data through the connection and they get much better connection range. The spec is saying up to 20 kilometer in FCC and 12 kilometers in CE. Now, if this becomes the case, it is more than we have seen on any other HD digital transmission system. Even if it gets half of that, it is still simply outstanding range. It really, really is. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see this in real world usage, because as I said, even if they get in half that, it's still more than anything else we've seen out there. It really is. Um, this is going to be an extremely interesting product. Now, it isn't available today. You can't order it yet. However, I have seen some noises to say early beta testers will be able to get this in their hands before Christmas. So that is not long away at all. Um, Pricing wise, well, I haven't seen anything confirmed yet. I think it's going to be between six and seven hundred dollars. Please don't hold me to that and please don't quote me on that. That is just a few noises that I have seen around the Internet. Um, as I've said, it is an extremely interesting product indeed. The fact it's in a remote controller with a built in screen. I, I do like that idea. There are times where I don't and there are times where I do. Um, the very fact they're using LTE over Wi-Fi as well makes it very, very interesting too. Overall, if they deliver this product at that price and it works as they say, I cannot see why this isn't going to be game changing for the self-build market. Because up until now, there has still not been the perfect solution for self-builders to have HD wireless transmission. You've either had a system where you have to add an external monitor or device, or you've had systems that are like the OcuSync system that uses goggles. And they're all very good. You know, Lightbridge is very, very good, as is the OcuSync Air system. But none of them have this built-in remote controller to use with the ear system yet. And this is the part that has got me very, very interested. I will be buying one of these without doubt, even if I have to lose a limb to be able to do it. And I'm hopefully going to be talking about it on the channel to you guys as well. Um, that's it for this video. It was purely some information. Go check it out on ProfiCNC.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Go check it out. Go have a look at this. Um, the guys over at ProfiCNC, I, I highly recommend supporting them. If you're looking for a Pixhawk, get that one. Get the Cube, get the 2.1, especially with that GPS because it's ridiculous. Um, and keep an eye on this product because if you've got a self-build or you've got a pixel based flight controller, you are going to want this. You are simply going to want this. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll do another one again soon.